um, <coughs> my talk is about uh, the, the well postness for the uh, KDV and the MKDV equations. Um, so first, what, is, what are the question, uh, e equations? The KDV equation uh, is named after two physicians, and it reads as 1.1. Uh, Mm, here, the u uh, is an uh, unknown function, defined depend on the space variable x and the time variable t. And we only consider here the, on the real line case. That means x uh, belongs to r. We can also uh, we can also uh, consider the boundary value problem, like uh, on on torus, something like that. And the modified KDV equation is given by 1.2. The only difference is the nonlinear term is a cubic uh, is a cubic term, and KDV is a quadratic term. Also, for the modified KDV, there is a, a sign plus or minus that that represents the focusing and the defocusing case, which means that the, the energy uh, have have two different cases. But for the KDV, they are the same. Okay. KDV is well known to be an integrable system. The modified KDV Pardon? is modified KDV integrable. <coughs> yes, I think so. Yeah. You're not going to use its integral? No, no. I'm not. Like why use? Oh. I've, I've often wondered why people don't want to use it. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, uh, K KDV equation is. Uh, has many symmetries, uh, but we, we only mentioned two. First one is the scaling invariance, which is very simple. If, if u is a solution, then you scale uh, by a constant. Then, then after scale, the, uh, that one is also a solution, but with a different initial data. The other one is the uh, conservation loss. <laughs> And there are many, actually there are in, uh, infinite conservation laws for the KDV equations. Um, this one is mass, and uh, this is the HK level. Um, means the HK norm of the solution is bounded by that of the initial data. So we can, we can get some a priori bound from the equation itself. We didn't use any other information. Uh, so for the, for the MKDV equation, there are also similar symmetries. But there is a, also a connection between the KDV equation and the MKDV equation. That is the Mueller transform. If U is a solution to the MKDV equation, then after uh, define V as following, then V solves the KDV equations. So we can see from this transform that MKDV requires one higher order than the KDV equation because this one has a derivative. So basically, you can imagine that um, for MKDV, we need one more derivatives. OK, so what do we study uh, with the well postness? Basically, it's to, to solve the equation because uh, Given a given the equation, the first first question would be to solve it, like um, as we do uh, as we do in the ordinary equations. So generally, we can ask the following two questions. The first one is: Is there a classical solution for the KDV equations? The second question is: Under what condition do we need on the initial data? So, in view of the conservation loss, then the natural Condition would be the U norm belongs to some L2 based space, like the sub level space. And uh, here, S indicates the regularity of the U norm. However, uh, since KDV equation is, is, is nonlinear, so there's, there's no, no way to solve it explicitly. Then um, we ask. First, can we prove the existence 
theoretically, we, we don't know, we don't have explicit um, presentation of the, of the solution, but uh, do we have, do, do, do we have the existence? And uh, what, what's the property? So this is what, uh, what the web postings do. They, they give the answer to the, like, uh, the first question. Um, on, the, on the other hand, we can just ask, uh, can we ob obtain the almost uh, solution? That's it, um, like, uh, for example, the numerical solution, that's, uh, that's another large topic. Okay? So now, local web host. Um, the e equation, the KDV equation is said to be local web host in HS if for given initial data, phi belongs to HS. First one is existence. There exists a solution in some, of, in, in some weak sense with, with um, the initial data at t equals to zero. The second one is uniqueness. And uh, the third one is the continuity. The solution, the, the initial data to the solution, the solution f flow is continuous and the position is of regularity. If these four conditions are satisfied, then we say it is well, uh, locally well posedness. But if, the, if t could be any large number, then we, we say it is globally well posed. Uh, so uh, I want to make two, uh, two remarks. Um, generally, uh, to obtain the existence, we we need uh, <coughs> we need to search in a larger space. It would be easier. However, for the uniqueness, it would be easier to obtain in a small space in a small set. So, so this is contradictory. We need to find a balance between the, the existence and the uniqueness. Um, the third one, continuous dependence. We could ask uh, for, for some strong sense, like not only um, continuous, but, but also uh, Lipschitz continuous, or CK smooth, or smooth, or analytic. We, we can ask uh, the solution flow for that. Um, <clears throat> so the, the uh, one problem is to study the low regularity problem, which means to get well potentness in HS for, for small s, for very small s. Because s uh, indicates the regularity for the initial data. Uh, for small s, we should uh, uh, indicate what it means, because for for uh, the solution alone, it's insufficient, because the, the equation is nonlinear, so you need to make the nonlinear term make sense. So we need some additional information, usually using some smoothing effect to 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 ensure the like the u square belongs to a distribution. Then we can say it is it holds in, in the uh, in the distributional sense. Another way is to to consider um, in the sense of the limit of the classical solutions. So we, we can just uh, we can using a sequence of initial data which is very smooth approaching the U norm in HS. Then we get a smooth solution. U n. Then we study whether the U n converges in in the uh, low regularity topology in the norm. So um, there are two ways to to let the equation make sense. Okay, local. Uh, what is a classical solution in this case? Huh? What do you mean by a classical solution? Uh, which which one? A uh, smooth solution. Just oh. the yeah. Right. Uh, so there are a lot of works which are concerned with the well-potentness for the KDV equations. I only mentioned 
um, some of it, some of them. Um, you see, the, the, the result is uh, for the S is going below and below. Um, <coughs> the the, uh, the first, first one given by the Bona and Smith, given uh, S bigger than 3 half which is now very standard as uh, uh, referred as the uh, energy method and uh, to and to the s bigger than 3 quarters which is given by Kenick Posh and uh, Vega they used the uh, the contraction principle to obtain the to construct the solution uh, Later, Bogain pushed the, the regularity to s equals to zero by by developing uh, some some sublevel structures associated to the equation now named as Bogain space. And uh, then, in 1996, it was further pushed to negative three quarters. For on the other hand, for the eupostenes. Uh, if s less than uh, negative three quarters, it is ill post, in the sense that the solution flow is not Lipschitz continuous. They they just break down the continuity, the, the Lipschitz continuity. For the for the MKDV equations, because uh, I just mentioned, MKDV requires one order higher regularity. So you just uh, for the KDV equation, you just plus one, almost uh, the, the, the result. <coughs> and uh, global well poison is, is automatically obtained by combination with the conservation loss, except when S is less than zero, because there's no low conservation loss. And so in 2003, the I tune uh, developed some like like the I, I method to 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 prove the global web hypothesis below below um, the L two. They developed some almost uh, conserved quantities like like, like that. Uh, also for the MKDV equations. Uh, some ill poisonous is also no at at the point s equal to one quarters. So what about uh, at this point negative three quarters? Because when s is bigger than, then we have well poisonous global well poisonous. When s is is less than, then we have ill poisonous. So what about uh, at this point, at this point, um, the the original method will just uh, break down due to some logarithmic divergence. So, uh, because lo logarithmic divergence, the, like uh, the log uh, logarithmic infinity, is is very subtle in analysis. Um, sometimes it, it could be viewed as finite, and sometimes it it could be essential. Um, but in this case, the log infinity is essential in the original method. That was given by Nakanish, uh, Takaoka, and Tsuzumi. Uh, <coughs> so the Original estimates could not give the result at this point. However, on the in the other sense, on the other sense, local web in the in some weak sense, as the in the sense of the limit of the classical solutions. That was given by Christ, Coriander, and the top. They used the mirror inverse mirror transform and the the result of MKDV equations. 
However, they cannot prove global web hotness. So uh, what about uh, global web hotness at this point? Uh, because uh, there, there are many, many, there are many analysis tools which deal with the logarithmic infinity. One may need, one may hope, can exploit some cancellations or orthogonalities to remove the log, log infinity. Uh, in, so, in 2009, uh, <coughs> we, th we find that the log infinity could be avoided in some other ways. So thus, uh, we, we need to use some special low frequency structures. So the log infinity now is, is essential in the, in the original estimates, in, in, in that space structure, but not essential to the perturbative machinery. I mean, in, at this point, one can still use using the perturbative arguments to, to prove. The, the, the main point is to construct appropriate space structures. And I have to give a remark that shortly later, this, this fact was also obtained by Kishimoto using some other structures. So the, the construction of the structure of the space is not unique. The way to avoid the log infinity could be very different. Uh, so uh, I'm going to talk about the remaining problems that I'm interested in. Uh, <laughs> open problems would be to its MKDV equations uh, locally well posed in L2, and uh, correspondingly, its KDV equations locally well posed in H to the minus, uh, minus 1. Um, problem two is, is one of my favorite open problems because for MKDV equation, we have a L2 conservation law. So in, in the L2 space for the MKDV equations, one can obtain the, the global web post needs using the conservation laws. So can we prove this one? Um, from the ill post needs result, because it is not uh, Lipschitz continuous or, or, or C2 continuous, the flow map. So we cannot expect a perturbative argument would work. So we need to use some less perturbative, um, like uh, construct, uh, com in combination with some uh, energy estimates or some other structures. And the, the natural question following the, this result is, what is the behavior of the solution as time goes to infinity? Since we have global solution, then we may ask, what is the behavior? So. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. This is all. Okay.